A lot of times, girls have a really hard time expressing how they feel when they're in a fight. And so you're like, they're in the fight, and you're talking to one girl, and you're like, so how do you feel? And she's like, <sighs> And you're like, um, I know, but how do you feel? And she's like, <sighs> And then, OK, but whatever. We tend to assume that just because girls are mushy and love their friends and love to draw hearts, and they love their glitter and their unicorns, and they must be like, woo, love the feelings. That doesn't actually mean that they are OK with their feelings, that they know how to control their feelings. And I want you to realize that your feelings are part of who you are. Your feelings make you who you are. You're not going to love all your feelings. You think I love all my feelings? I don't. There are a lot of times I feel things, I don't want to feel them. But you have to accept that they're part of you. And you will actually make your life a lot harder for yourself if you fight against those feelings. You can't just always be liked by everyone. It will not happen. And if you try to be like that, you know what's going to happen? You're actually going to be criticizing yourself all the time. Because the harder you try to be perfect, the worse you're going to feel about yourself because you're never going to get there. The harder you try to be liked by everyone, the harder you're going to be about on yourself about it. So you're going to beat yourself up. If you try to do everything right, if you only want to raise your hand in class when you have the right answer, you're not going to want to try new things. You're not going to want to try stuff that you screw up at. So you're going to play it safe, and you're not going to take big leaps that are going to expose you to new opportunities and new skills. But you know what most of all is going to happen? You're not going to be yourself. And who you are right now is awesome. And yeah, maybe you're a little bit of a mess. That's what makes you awesome. <laughs> it does. You're supposed to be a little messy. Because a real girl is someone who is really in touch with her feelings, who knows how she feels. Um, as you heard from Tori, who's able to assert herself in her relationships to tell people how she feels, who can have a sense of humor about her mistakes, and who really has a sense of who she is and what's important to her. And I think that I've got some suggestions. And what I'm showing you, all of this has come out of the Girls Leadership Institute. What I want you to practice doing, this is going to help you stop getting freaked out by every mistake. From time to time, when you play a soccer game, or you take a test, or you have a recital, or you do some kind of big performance, talk with the adult in your life about what you liked about what you did and what you wish you had done differently. And just talk about it calmly. All right? And it doesn't count if you say, I played the worst soccer game of my life. You have to focus on real things that you wish you did differently. So you have to be like, I could have hustled more. I could have gone to bed earlier last night. I probably didn't need to eat 17,000 pixie sticks for breakfast. Like, <laughs> Whatever it is, you be clear about what you did, and then you talk about what you like. So you can say, I had a great passing game today. I was talking a lot on the field. I supported my teammates. I was cheering. What girls are doing when they practice that is that they are developing healthier habits of self-evaluation. They're getting more comfortable with a realistic self-assessment. And when they have those muscles, and I really want you to think about them as muscles, when they have those muscles, it gives them the ability, the strength, to deal with mistakes as they come, because they know what they're good at, because they're used to thinking about it. And they also know that being vulnerable in some areas isn't the end of the world.